but us, the Remingtons, the Jergies with us, and uh, and here we are, just having a great time and enjoying oh, yes. the wonderful things that Chris has taught us about the Heartlands and that we yes. learned a lot about. Mm-hmm. But now we've got to talk about some of the vehicles that we're going to go into. We, we're talking about RVs that are under 30 feet. And, and is, there you go. I'm just going to point to one. you, Tiffany. I envy you. Class envy C, you. 29 feet. It has been a dream. It definitely, I mean, it is a little bit of a smaller space, but being able to kind of pack up and go, like I said, in 10 minutes is pretty nice. And I think it could suit for a family like yours, too, if it's more of like a weekender sure. kind of trip. We envy them. They leave the park and we're like, see you. We got to hitch up our truck. We'll see how that. I do. I do miss that for sure. Now, you guys it's came out of a class A to yes. go into a class C. Yep. And the difference, we've talked a lot about this, is convenience obviously the convenience and i think we mentioned before too the class a the turn radius is better and you sit higher so you can see um a little bit more but the class c still it feels like you're driving almost like a normal car like a truck what do you say we get started yeah now ian is going to take us through the thor motor coach coleman 19 footer take a look And here we are motorhomes under 30 feet this one right here is amazing folks If you're looking for something to travel in, the 19CM is an excellent option. This one right here is the Coleman from Thor Motor Coach. And as you can see, it's built to travel. Uh, Not just for, you know, a couple, like a lot of small motorhomes, but you can have seven people ride in this one all safely with seatbelts. Now, granted, you can't sleep that many people, but the fact that you can ride seven in a motorhome that is only 20 foot long is phenomenal. Uh, this, this one is new to the market. It's a little bit older floor plan, but they brought it back. They, uh, you know, made a few changes, kind of reinvented it. And I, for one, really enjoy it. Uh, we'll start actually, we'll start off right over here. Cause this is one of those things that kind of throw people for a loop. And that's that the fact it has a wet bath. If you're not familiar with the wet bath, essentially what it is, is it is your toilet, sink, and shower all in one. If you've ever seen a truck camper, you're probably pretty familiar with this because this is what uh, setup most truck campers have simply because it is space efficient. Um, you know, you can see there that, you know, you have your hand wand, you have the sink, the medicine cabinet, the toilet, everything is all built into this little area. And, and it does work. Um, as, as far as, you know, size, I'm six foot tall. I'll take a step in here and look at this, right? Even without that skylight, folks, I can fully stand in here with that skylight. I mean, you can be you know, probably six, four, and still be able to stand up in here and shower, which is pretty great. And as far as seating space, and again, I, I know it kind of weirds people out because it's the shower space, but I still have plenty of room. I have a sink in here. You know, I know that sometimes people get uh, a little weird, you know, if you have to go out and wash your hands in the kitchen sink, and I can understand that. But I have a sink right there. My toilet paper is covered, so it's not getting wet. And I have a shower curtain right here to protect the door, vent fan right in there to dry everything out. Um, if, if you've never used a wet bath, I'm telling you, but once you get used to it, it's not as weird as you think. And in a motorhome like this, I think it makes perfect sense. Take a look at the back is our kitchen. You have this uh, nice laminate countertop right here. And then with that, we'll open this up. You'll see your two burner cooktop that is recessed with the glass cover. That way you get some prep space. You know, again, we're in a smaller RV, so we don't have a ton of room. So this will be the majority of your prep space. You have a little bit more kitchen space right under here. Uh, right over there and underneath the cabinets is an electrical outlet. So you have a spot for a coffee maker there. They did give you a big sink. I, and I, I think they did a good job with the round sink because if it would have been, you know, your standard like double bowl, the other bowl would be way over here and honestly it'd be almost useless. I'd much rather have the countertop space. So I think that was a good choice. High rise faucet, window back there too. Plenty of storage underneath. You know, when we take a look, you can see there's some under the sink. Plus you have two full extension ball bearing drawers there and some additional storage right there. So uh, pretty good storage all throughout the bottom of the kitchen, plus storage all across the top right here. You have the hood. Now over to the side, again, this is a condensed floor plan, so you kind of have to pack things in. So this is where your main wardrobe will be. There's a hanging rod right there. So if you need to hang anything up, that'll be the place to do it. And you can see that, you know, you do get pretty decent wardrobe space. Plus you have two additional drawers right underneath that. So you know, probably socks, undies, whatever else you need to toss in there. And again, I know it's kind of weird that it's close to the kitchen, but in this floor plan, you know, it's designed to travel with as many people as possible. And so that's what they set up. Now, even if you only have two people or or just one person, maybe you're going solo, you want to, you know, travel the world and see the U.S., this is a great motorhome to do it in. Now, 
There are other options out there too, of course. You know, if you want something a little bit bigger, you want something a little more separation between the kitchen and your wardrobe, that's certainly something we can help you out with. All you have to do is give us a call at 877-297-8725 or text FRESH, F-R-E-S-H, to 46642. So because we have over 20,000 units currently on the lot, another 80,000 coming in, and I'm telling you folks, we have all sorts of Class Cs, a ton of options. We'll go over a couple of this segment, a couple a little bit later. Uh, we have some Jayco's coming up, so we'll get to take a look at those two, and maybe one of those will spark your interest. And again, you can simply text FRESH, and that will lock in uh, your show pricing. If we take a look over to the side here, you see good storage up top. Take a look at that, strut supported right there. Nice big window right underneath, so that way, you know, any passengers that are riding right here in the dinette are able to see out. You have four seat belts you know, in the dinette itself. And that's really cool because a lot of times you only have two seat belts, you know, for two riders, but you can have four riders here plus cup holders there. The table drops down into a bed if you need that additional sleeping space. You'll also see right here uh, for a safety latch, if you have a car seat, you can have a car seat riding here too. You know, I know more and more people are, are starting to, uh, you know, learn the beauties of RV travel. You know, here at Camping World, we've known uh, for a long time that this is one of the best, safest ways to travel and make memories with the family. But a lot more people are starting to figure that out. Maybe you're one of them. Maybe you're new to the industry. Uh, so as you can see here, you can have a car seat here and be able to take your children with you. And, and with that, if you are new to the industry, um, you know, one thing that I do want to mention, and you'll hear Chris mention this too, it's kind of a little uh, secret on the inside, right? And that's that... <clears throat> People think like an RV season is from like March to August or September, but that's not necessarily the case. All of your, <clears throat> excuse me, your experienced RVers, people that have been RVing for a while, they're shopping now, right? Because now is the time to buy. They're, and we know this because our retail sales go through the roof, right? Uh, and, and the reason for that is, is if you wait, like let's say you have a big trip planned on, on July 4th or Memorial Day and you're like, oh, I'm going to get it right before then. Folks, you're not going to get it. It'll be gone. Right now is the time to buy. And that's the awesome thing about having this sales event is that, you know, we have uh, excellent sales going on. And we talked about it, you know, in our last Ultimate RV show that, you know, inventory is going to be gone. And, and we weren't wrong, right? Inventory has been cleared out. Now we have 80,000 units coming in. But guess what? With the popularity we've been seeing, the increase, those are going to be gone too. So you want to make sure that you're able to uh, get your hands and secure something like this guy right here if you plan on doing some travels. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Ian, we have the bathroom in the back, the kitchen, where do you sleep? Right up top in the 19CM, folks, this bed right up here can, has a 800-pound weight capacity. Now, you know, I, I'm not a mathematician. I'm a pretty decent-sized guy, but that means you can have two people up here that are 400 pounds. That's pretty darn great. Um, so it's nice and strong, which I really like. You also have a TV that can flip around. If you want to watch it in bed, you can do that or flip it around so you can watch it right there in the dinette. Of course, driver and uh, passenger seat right up front here. This one is built on the new Ford chassis. Over to the side is that jump seat. You can see right there, again, another seatbelt. And that's where we get our seventh rider there. Uh, last thing I do want to touch on, of course, was your kitchen. Uh, the rest of the kitchen, rather, you have the microwave and the fridge right down below that. And then, of course, your furnace will be underneath that. So you do have heat in this coach, as you would expect. The AC will be mounted right up here on the roof. So furnace down below. AC on the roof. And this one does have a generator on board too, which will run this AC as well as that uh, TV right there. So as we take a step outside, speaking of the generator, let's come right out here and we'll take a look at some of our uh, outside features. So let's start up on the front. As I mentioned, this one is on the Ford E350 chassis. It has the, uh, the new V8 in there. If you haven't driven it, uh, it has more torque than the old engine. So a little bit less horsepower, but more torque. And we're talking about uh, RVing and motorhomes, you want that high torque. One, for towability, and two, for traveling in the mountains. It'll help you kind of get up the mountains a little bit more. And again, if you're towing anything, you're really going to appreciate uh, the added torque that you get. For storage, you know, it's, it's not a big motorhome, but they did what they could for storage. We'll see that in the back in just a second here. Propane tank, we talk about, um, you know, uh, being able to have the furnace inside. That propane is what's going to power it, both the furnace and then the, the uh, cooktop inside there as well. Power awning with LED lights. Touch a button, that guy will roll right out, roll back in. Super simple and easy to use. And again, folks, as I mentioned, you can kind of see the, uh, the length of this. This thing's only 20 foot long. 
So if you plan on doing like tailgating, you know, going to uh, other sporting events, maybe your, you know, your kids are, are lucky enough to be able to start sports back up and, and, you know, and you realize how important it is to you and you want to travel because you want to be there to make sure you're seeing all their games, this is something that's awesome to do it in. You can take the whole family, make a day trip, go see their game, come home, everyone's happy. And, and at a very reasonable price, folks. For this show, this one's going to be $65,925 is what this one's starting at. That's as low as $13.19 a day. That's a great deal for a motorhome. If you're looking to get in something, get out, start seeing the U.S., go on those sporting events, go to the tailgates. This is an excellent one to do it with. If you need to plug anything in outside, you have the ability to do that. We talked about tailgating. Boom, you want to set up a griddle, right? Start cooking out here. Electric skillet, you can do that with that guy there. Storage is going to be very important. So you'll see some storage right here. This one just folds open. Very easy to get to. You have a bumper on the back, painted bumper, which I like. Uh, is, and then it has these square end caps on it, so you have a space in which you can um, in which you can store your sewer hose. Now, if we drop down below, this is something else I want to show you here because this is a pretty big deal, folks. This hitch, that's an eight thousand pound hitch. You know, we talk about towing and having that extra torque, and maybe you have like a big trailer or something like that. You want to be able to tow behind you. Maybe you have a car, so you can kind of scoot around town if you're going somewhere for just a little while. This uh, 8,000 pound hitch will allow you to do that. Most manufacturers will put on a 5,000. This little Coleman here, we have an 8,000. The cool thing about that too is this is the same engine, that, you know, the same chassis that you'll find on a lot of larger motorhomes that are you know, an extra 10 foot longer. So you have all that, the same power on a shorter chassis, weighs less, that 8,000 pound hitch, this one will do a good job. You'll see the seven way plug right there as well. So if you are uh, pulling a travel trailer behind it, we talked about riding, but it didn't have the sleeping. Imagine this. What if you towed a travel trailer behind it, right? With this motorhome, you get that extra sleeping capacity. You have the riding capacity right here. This is an excellent coach in order uh, to do exactly that. Coming around to the side, you know, we've got your fuel fill right here, nice and easy. 30 amp plug-in will be located there. TV, take a uh, look right there. We talk about storage. You got a spot for your um, your uh, plug-in. So, you know, if you need shore power, if you have the ability, if you're going to a campsite, that right there will give you the shore power. Now, if you don't have shore power, oh, I have it locked, but that's where your generator will be located right there. So if you need to uh, you know, get that extra power, you can flip that generator on, it'll power everything inside. Your water connections will be right above that. So you know whether you're filling your fresh tank or you have city water, you'll be able to you know, run the shower, sinks, everything else that you need to inside. Folks, I'm telling you, this is just one of a couple different Class Cs that we have available and on the lot. There's lots of different manufacturers. Coleman here, of course, is a name that is almost synonymous with camping, as my good friend Chris Young likes to say, right? They've been doing it for a very long time. When you think camping, you think Coleman, and I think they did a great job right here on the 19CM. Again, if you're interested in this particular Class C, you'll want to text the word RV to 46642, and that will lock in your pricing on this particular unit. If you're interested in a Class C, maybe a Class A, right? We have some of those to see yet as well. We've seen a couple. Uh, you can text the word FRESH, that's R-F-E-S-H, and that will lock in the show pricing for the entire event. Now, why do we have two different keywords? Because that will help you route, right? One will be routed for this one in particular. The other one will be routed for pretty much anything. So uh, again, folks, we have a lot more to, to see and check out. So uh, let's get on to it. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal of a price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Hey everyone, Ian Baker here, joined by Caleb and Bryce, and we're going to talk to you about propane and propane accessories. <laughs> and boy, oh boy... Do we have quite the selection? A lot of cool things out there, right? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of things people don't realize. And uh, they're very essential, too. Mm-hmm. Very essential. Yes. Yeah. I mean, and so, you know, a lot of people have propane for, for RV heat, right? And then when you think propane, RVing, that's kind of what you think about. Uh, but a lot of people, what they don't think about is, one, having an extra propane tank in case propane runs out. You guys ever run into that before? Yeah, actually, two days ago. Two nights ago. Really? So we're in 30-degree weather right now, and uh, the other night, I was up edit in a video and it's just after midnight and the fridge just beeps I'm like I haven't heard that beep before and I walk over <laughs> that's not good and because we weren't connecting anything so the fridge was running on propane as well and uh, it, it said no what was the the code was no gas no LP yep 
I wasn't ready for that. So <laughs> we survived the rest of the night on uh, 32 degree weather. Oh, man. We had a lot of blankets. Brutal. It was it was warmer inside, right? Yeah, of course. But it slowly, by the time we woke up, it was very, very chilly. cold. Very yes. cold. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's one of those moves, right? That I, I always tell people some seasoned RVers, and you know, and you learn, right? <laughs> it happens the first time. Yeah, I've done it for two years at an amateur hour. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people have anxiety about the heat on the inside. I yes. have a lot of anxiety about. You know, you're halfway through grilling, yes, and you run out of propane on the gas grill. <laughs> yes. Oh man, and nothing worse. Well, no, nothing and, worse. And, and you never know, right? Like you my, my wife will start yelling at me, like the time's going great, and I'm like, all right, should be about time. You lift it up, and I'm like, well, like, those are. I off. thought you wanted red meat. <laughs> yeah. I thought you guys wanted a medium rare. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, yes, we got a solution for that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so these right here, I really like, right? So these are a little bit smaller tanks. Yeah. Uh, you know, some RVs you'll you'll have like your propane quick connect, which work great. Uh, but if you don't, or you want to just bring these anyway for something a little more portable, you know, right here we have a, a one pound and a little over a two pound tank. Um, and, and these are these are absolutely fan. I'm sorry, one gallon and two and a half gallon. Two and a half I, I think it's four and a half pounds and 11 pounds, I believe, is is what you're looking at. But these are great. They're nice and uh, we get really good reviews on these because they're wide, right? Yeah. So, you know, unlike your little your one pound Coleman, like the little uh, green guys, yeah. you know, a little Tip. bit tougher to set down, something like this, nice and easy, hook up a hose, yep. and you're good to go. Um, and then the accessories that come with it too. For sure, oh, yeah. Man. This would this would have saved you, Bryce. Yeah, this, yeah, this, this, this yes. is what I need right here. So yeah. This, so this is a magnetic sensor. You stick it on the bottom of the tank, and then you have a, a reader, a meter on the inside. You can bring in the RV. Yes. And you can always be monitoring how much you got left in the tank. Yep. And the cool thing I like about that, and Bryce was kind of talking about this as well, is the fact that it can connect to your smartphone. So wow. you know what, you, you have the monitor inside, you have the phone as well. So that way, like yeah. you say, if you're doing, you know, even grilling, you, yep. know, or, you know, you can make sure you're monitoring everything right there. You won't have to wake up when it's uh, 30 <laughs> degrees outside yeah. and you're out of propane, Never again, right? learn once, learn <laughs> once. <laughs> so that, that's kind of like the modern age solution. There's, you know, the, kind of the tried and true right here too, which is the uh, the tank gauge. Yep. And so, you know, you can just screw that on a tank. That's more built for the, the grill than it's gonna be for your RV, of course. For sure. Um, but there are lots of options out there. And then, you know, the, the, the really cool thing is that, um, you know, these are just some of the accessories we have. You know, we talk about fire pits. That's another big one that's really been very popular yeah. is yeah. having the propane fire pit. Yeah. You know, you don't get the smell, you know, yeah. you, you don't you get you that, don't that stink campfire, like campfire smell. for a week. Yeah, it, exactly. It's easy to set up, turn it on. Super simple. Yep. So the cool thing about this, guys, tell them if, if anyone's interested in, you know, getting a propane tank. Yeah, absolutely. If you want any of, of these it? accessories, you got to text CAMP, C-A-M-P, to 46642 or comment CAMP below to shop all these amazing products. Yep. Perfect. And upcoming, we got another uh, Forest River coming up on this next model, guys. Love it. Folks, it's amazing that this one is under 30 foot with the space and room you get. You have two slide outs really opening up this space, one of them being in the bedroom, the other one here in the main living area. And as you can see, again, it is almost completely open. You have the cab over right up top there. Of course, the uh, cab itself underneath. This one is built on the Ford chassis. The, the cab over this space here, 440 pound weight capacity up there, so it's perfect for you know a couple kids, an adult, maybe two, depending, right? You have a little bit of storage up top with some cup holders there, windows on both sides as well. And then I like this, you have a vent up top uh, right above the bed, and that's almost necessary because you know if it does get warm, of course, heat rises, so it'll be a little bit hotter up here than it will be in the rest of the coach. But if you take a look at the slide out itself, I mean, you have a big slide over here, right? We have the dinette with a theater seating. You can see uh, the dinette itself. This one does have two seatbelts, so you can have two more riders here. Uh, it drops down into a bed, of course. And then take a look at the storage. Nice big storage, very easy to access with the drawer. I love that they put that in there. Uh, store, speaking of storage, all the way across the top. I mean, I'll open this up. You can take a look, you'll see it is strut supported there with the uh, hidden hinges rather. Uh, and I really like those. You know, I, I personally prefer the, the hidden hinges like that over a strut. Uh, I think it just looks a little bit nicer, a little bit easier to access. You don't have the struts on the side, less chance to hit and break anything. And you will have that all the way across. And as you can see, they are slow close as well, which is pretty darn cool. Now for the other seating area, right here is theater seating. And we'll see in a bit here, it's kind of across from a TV. Very unique layout. Now, if you don't want the theater style seats, you can fold this up. You have yourself a nice, a nice sofa there. You know, if you want to lay out, snuggle up, 
Otherwise, you drop this guy right here down, and as you can see, you have some cup holders. Uh, there are seat belts in the back too, so these are legal, uh, legal riding positions. And I'm telling you, there's not many more comfortable places than right here. And that's, for me, this is the beauty of a motorhome. It's, it's the travel, right? I get a lot of people that ask, you know, Ian, should I do a motorhome? Should I do a towable? And I always tell them, well, it kind of depends, right? One, if you have a tow vehicle or not, because, you know, that can be a little bit of an expense if you don't have one. Um, but two is what you want out of it. If you're looking to do a lot of travel, right, a motorhome is a great option because all the riders will have such a better riding experience. You can be right here, you know, playing games, talking to people in the dinette. You need to pull over, use the refrigerator, use the bathroom. You have super easy access. Uh, you know, you don't have to open any slides up to, to access the bathroom uh, or a place to sleep. Everything is just right here. So if you really want to enjoy the ride, a motorhome is a great option. A Class C like this is perfect for it. Uh, you know, I mean, the, the Sunseeker LE here, you know, it's, it's certainly not a, an entry level. It's definitely a, a step up. Uh, but for price point, we have a great price for the show, folks. This one is uh, $89,205 is what it's starting at. That's $17.85 a day, which again, you know, for, for what you're getting here, the size of the RV, it is 100% worth it. Another cool thing I like about this one is right back here. So take a look at this. We'll open this up for you. You can see you have dual access, right? Storage right there. Um, and I know, you know, some people are like, oh, security concern. But A, if you know anyone that can fit through there that is over the age of five years old, um, you know, I mean, more power to them. Uh, two, of course, you can lock the door. Uh, but for me, the thing I like about it is that's just easy access storage from both inside and outside. So things like, um, you know, uh, fishing poles, right? Because it's a little bit longer, it's easy to fit those in there. Um, you know, if you have a, a rifle, you know, it's, it's wide enough, you can fit a case down in there. So, you know, if you're taking this hunting or something like that, or fishing, you have the options for that, or just any storage, maybe, you know, pool noodles, right? It's a perfect spot for it right there. Making our way back, good storage all along, then, you know, a little bit right down below, you can see that. So plenty of extra storage, that's a great spot for extra pantry storage. And then if we flip around to this side, Again, more storage there, same thing right here down below. Now we'll get to the rest of the kitchen in a second, but first I do wanna show you uh, the bathroom and the bedroom. So as we make our way back to the bathroom, one of the things I always like to do is show people the amount of space they have when you're sitting on the pot, because you know, unfortunately I'll probably spend more time here than I should. Um, but you know, honestly, it, it, you have pretty good space. The door's a little bit tight, but you know, I'm, I'm a pretty decent sized guy. You know, I'm, I'm weighing in about 220, six foot tall. But again, I have pretty good space here. It's a porcelain bowl, super easy to clean. Nice big sink. I like what they did there. They kind of moved the faucet off to the side, but they give you that big sink top. Plumbing access underneath, mirrored medicine cabinets. And as far as space in the shower, folks, there's no issues here whatsoever. Again, six foot tall. You can see I have more than enough room up top. I mean, with that skylight, I mean, you can be probably six, six, still be able to stand in here and shower no problem without having to bend down or anything like that. So, you know, if you're a taller person and uh, you like what this RV has to offer, well, then you'll want to text RV to 46642 because that will lock in the show pricing for this unit. Uh, making our way back into the bedroom, you can see here, so this one, as I said, has a slide out bed and there's different bed systems and th they all kind of have, you know, their own little, uh, their own little quirks to them. This one right here, you'll see is a wedge style bed. Now, the big concern people normally have with the wedge is, oh man, it's going to slide out, right? But look what they've done. You'll see that they have buttons right here. And so it clips into place or sna snaps technically into place on both sides. That way the wedge doesn't move on you. And because this overlaps, it's a nice flat surface right here. So I think that was actually a really good uh, move on, on their part. I think they did an excellent job with the bed. Storage up top, there is a wardrobe closet right back here. Of course, you have this guy to shut it off for some additional privacy. We already saw the storage there, but take a look at the kitchen space, right? So uh, nice big countertop in this one. That's one of the big draws to this floor plan. You have all this prep space right here. You have the large undermount basin. When you have the upgraded countertops like this, the thermal foil uh, or, or you know heat foil, heat treat, whatever you want to call it, countertop, where they um, you know kind of take the the laminate on top and they heat it and press it to the wood itself. It allows you to have an undermount like this. And I really like undermount sinks just because they're so much easier to keep clean. Round bowl in there. High-rise pull-out faucet, recessed cooktop with the glass cover right there. 
And then underneath is your convection microwave oven. So kind of a space savings, right? Now I know, you know, convection is one of those things that people either really love or hate. Um, you know, for me personally, I like a convection oven. I know a lot of people, some people do a lot of baking. I'm not one of them. So for me, uh, at least not when I, when I camp. So for me, a convection microwave oven just makes a lot of sense. But again, that's a personal thing. If you, if you want a, a uh, propane oven, Folks, that's great. We have a lot of class C's that have propane ovens and, you know, uh, probably a fairly similar floor plan. And we can help you out with that. And all you have to do is text FRESH to 46642. Because as I've told you, you know, and you, I'm sure you've heard it over the, the last couple hours and, uh, you know, maybe last week when you were watching the show, we have over 20,000 pieces of inventory on the lot. And folks, we have 80,000, over 80,000 pieces coming in. So you want a propane oven? No problem. We'll get you all hooked up. Right up top here, you can see plenty of storage there. Also the big TV, and I love this because that's right across from the theater seating, right? It's a little bit of an angle, it's, it's a little high. It's kind of like when people, you know, mount a TV above a fireplace in a home. So, you know, if you have that at home, you're probably used to this, right? Where it's a little bit higher, probably won't be an issue. Uh, you'll also see great storage all the way underneath, a bunch of drawers there. And then, you know, as we saw right there, big storage uh, underneath the sink, which is a perfect spot for a trash can, which I really enjoy. Uh, you'll also see right over here, we open this up. This is a Magic Chef fridge. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. So, uh, you know, the great thing about this, I mean, you know, 12 volt, it, the reason I like this fridge, I should say, over like a propane electric, is the fact that 12 volt still cools down a lot quicker because it is compressor driven. Um, also, because this is a class C, we have a 4,000 watt generator, which will, you know, power this thing basically indefinitely. As long as you have fuel in the coach, you'll be good to go here. It'll power this, it'll power the TV, uh, you know, and everything will be just great. Take a look up top. Last couple thing I, uh, things I do want to mention. You have a multimedia center right here that is tied into um, your, your TV there. So you can see that, or sorry, your speakers rather. You can see that you have different zones right here as well as the HDMI input. So if you do want to plug that in, um, you know, and you have some auxiliary equipment, you're good to go. You can see that for the, um, some of the TVs and stuff too, you have the HDMI right up there as well. And then right underneath is your control panel. So if we take a look, uh, right down here is auto level. So all you have to do is touch a button, folks, and this coach will level itself out. Now that's something that's a little more rare on a lot of Class Cs. We see it on Class As, on some of your bigger fifth wheels. Uh, class C, a lot of times it's an aftermarket thing, but the fact you have it is phenomenal, especially for that price point. Push a button, it does everything else for you, so that way you don't have to worry about you know backing up, uh, pulling back forward on leveling blocks or anything like that. Another thing that I really like about the Sunseeker is right up front here, and that's the fact that you have a front cap. Now, this in and of itself signifies that it's a little bit higher end Class C, right? If you're looking, you're doing some shopping for some motorhomes, you see a front cap, these don't come cheap. These are molded, they're expensive to make, but I personally like them for several reasons. One, it adds some insulation value, which is great, because as I said, if people are sleeping up there, heat rises, it gets a little hot, this will help keep you a little bit cooler when you got that AC going, or vice versa. You got the heat going, it's cold outside, I'll take all the insulation I can get. Also, more importantly, in my mind, is the fact it helps against water penetration because your seal comes around to the side and underneath. So as you're driving in the rain and all that rainwater is beating right here on the front, there's a much, much less chance that you're going to get water into that front end. So I really do like having a front cap on there. And that's one of those things that we're here for, folks. We have trained uh, professionals that are sitting by, that are waiting for your call, that are waiting for that text to help you out, to show you some of the differences between you know, this uh, motorhome right here and some of the other motorhomes we have with you know, over the 100,000 pieces of inventory that we have and coming in. We're here to help you. So you make your way back a little bit, you can see the power awning with the LED light, of course a grab handle there as well. Solar ready, if you want solar, simply buy the portal panels, plug it in, you're good to go. Got some electrical outlets here, some storage, it's very important, it's a rotocast bin too, which means it's nice and easy to clean up. Just take a water hose, spray it in there and you're good to go. Another thing you'll notice that's pretty important is you have slide toppers on this unit and that does come with it. So that way any sticks or pine cones or anything that drop down, that uh, topper will protect it. So when you roll it in, all of that just falls off. It's not getting jammed up in your seals. 
You'll see more storage right back here, as well as the control box for the Schwintech slide right above it. So uh, in the rare event that the, the motor does fail, there's a nice, easy uh, uh, control right there, and you can actually push this in to get back on the road. And folks, that's something, again, we have the tools to help you. If you haven't seen the portal, highly recommend checking it out. But this one right here is the Sunseeker LE 2550 DS. If you're interested, remember, make sure you text RV.